Welcome back to Border Life, everyone. As you can possibly see, we've opened the front windows. We're having a slight issue with humidity. Basically, these big beams here are still damp from when it was raining a, month, a couple of months ago. It's not great for the beam, so we're trying to get as much air in whilst it's a nice, not rainy day, we'll say. It's not sunny, but it's not rainy. So we've opened everything up for that, and as promised a couple of vlogs ago, we're going to show you how we do the uh, how we do the kind of plasterboard rails. Morning, Louis. How's it going? Everything good. So we have been getting on a little bit already. Um, I'll show you where we're up to. And Louis has done this before. And he's going to take the lead on this one. I'm going to be the leader. You're the apprentice. <laughs> OK, we'll say that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you where we're up to first, and then we're going to get straight on with it. So we've put a few of the suspend, so suspension brackets, maybe. I don't know what to call those in the UK. I've never used them in the UK. I've only, only used them in France. So in France, they're called the suspend. So we put those in. And then basically, as you've seen, Downstairs, we put these little rails. They're called fourrure. Uh, is that right, Louis Fourrure? Fourrure, right. Yeah. But it's weird because. Yeah, he's better at pronouncing it. I don't know why. But. Um... <laughs> Une fourrure. This is how we say it in French. I'm always learning, but I'll never get that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've put those on. Next is the insulation, and then those fourrure. 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 Uh, it sounds like fur in French, no? It's the same like uh, the fourrure of the coat. Yes. So it's weird. When you asked me to bow them, uh, I was like, fourrure, uh, he's saying <laughs> bad stuff in Eng the English guy. But no, it's the name, fourrure. OK, let's get screwing up, hey, Louis? Yep. I'll get some of these suspend. Um, what, what are we actually doing, Louis? So first of all, we put a, a string uh, to have the level, and after we just have to screw the other ones. But you will see that we have a trouble, is that they are quite too long. So we cut them a bit, like one centimeter, to put them and go inside. Well, this one is OK, but you will see some, uh, some of them are not OK. L Louis? Yes? I think you might have been on the wrong side of the string there. I know you're taking the lead, but I know, I'm just showing fast to Anna to make the plan for everybody to see. Well, I know. explaining. He's explaining so everyone can understand. Exactly. Well, I'm just trying to save you I'm in the teaching, comments. I'm teaching. I'm a good teacher. Okay. So, yeah, just putting them. But we have an angle to respect because after the placo is have to be straight. So just try to find the angle. Plan. Not yeah. good. That's a plane, yeah. It has to be in a pl Oh, flat. Yeah, 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 flat, yeah. Just find the angle. Yeah. So that the... little hole on the side of the suspend that you've just got in your hand there, that's where you put the string in, that little hole. Yeah, exactly. After we can... crush it. Yeah, yeah, to crush it. Just have to touch. Fat. Well, the string I'm just to go in, not touching. Because if I do it like this, move the... Yeah, the move the rail. And yeah. it's not... And anymore. then you move out of the plane. You're not in the right plane then. And it, yeah, yeah. Good. But, but, but Louis, how did you get those first ones in? So I used the laser to put all of the uh, suspend uh, straight, just on this part, on the other part, like that is the same level. And just with the string, can be normally perfectly straight. Master, the master has overtaken. We will see at the end. Or the apprentice has overtaken the master. I thought you'd done it by uh, eye. I thought you had a really good eye. You know how you're always taking, taking the out of my uh, out of my sight. I thought you'd done it by eye. I've got beautiful eyes. Not oh good ones. God! I cannot we've, see any. I cannot see anything. <laughs> we've started him off now. Right, let's get going. Oh God! How come I have the high end? Because you're the stagiaire. Okay, here we go then. Am I doing it right, Louis? Nope. Look at the other one. More straight. Yes. No. Other angle. Am I good, Louis? Well, you're on the wrong side, oh. first of all. 
Okay. And yes, you have to respect the angle of the other ones. Mine's going to need a cut then. Yeah, so, but we have trouble. We have just one scissors. <laughs> so cut some of them. Yes, cut 10 or 20 for me. <laughs> I can't work in conditions like this, Louis. <laughs> Ask Why the, did you not have two pairs of scissors? Who's in charge of the tools ask, here? Ask the boss, ask the boss to buy another one. <laughs> Cut maybe like three, four. Okay. He's being generous with me. On that note, I am going to um, going to show you later on in this video where we're up to on the budget because we've had the roof back in, the the, the press, I've not paid him yet, but, <laughs> but he's given me his bill. Um, and there's a few other things that have added to that list, so we can see where we're up to on the budget. Coupe pas trop. Un centimètre. So Louis telling that to cut too much and you're going wide? Well, I'm just, I'm just ignoring him. <laughs> <laughs> Allez, Louis, Merci. on y va. Allez. <laughs> là, je pense que c'est bon, là, Louis. Ouais, nickel. Nickel ou bon Bon, ça a l'air bien. Ouais, non, c'est ça l'angle. T'es content avec celle-là Bravo. Bravo, chef. Just did. Did you make a mistake? No, no. How's it going, Louis? Good, good. <laughs> you were testing Louis. No. Go on, Anna, what did you just say about the scaffold? Well, why on earth are you using a ladder when you behind me? We have Because I like dropping things on the floor. Okay, good idea, Anna. But on saying that, I need to be at this level, so those, the kind of safety of the scaffold is just the same as these, but at least it's easier to use. Louis, I'm using the scaffold. Okay. Anna, this is your scaffold. This. This one. This, this is for you. This is for you. Louis is making noise over there. The good thing is, he's advancing with work. Yeah. Two hours for two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it's quality, not quality. Uh, yeah. Do a time lapse. <laughs> I was going to say, talking about this being Anna's scaffold, put in the comments if you'd like to see Anna doing some work instead of me doing the work. I'll do the filming, but then Anna can still do the editing. Well, then it's extra, extra work for me, so how is that fair? I don't know. Who said it was fair? Louis' ladder, thank you for holding the mic for me, is higher than your ladder, so the same level, your ladder is the same level as the scaffold, but look at Louis, so that's why he needs the taller one. So let me get it straight, Louis is taller than me and has the taller ladder. <laughs> Merci Louis. I'm the boss. Are you doing this on purpose to get me far further behind Louis? Well, not really. Go on, what's your question? Why do you have, because I was looking around, why do you have like a plumbing pipe down there? So you do take note that there's no bathrooms on this side, yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to play a game. With me? Or no, with the... Uh, 
with the uh, with the audience. Bordeaux lifers. Yeah, with the Bordeaux lifers. We're not allowed to say Bordeaux lifers. Somebody told me off for that. <laughs> so with our viewers, uh, Bordeaux life. Um, why would we have some random pipe coming up? Hold on, uh, make it a little bit easier for you. Okay. So we've got this pipe, oh. and it's going to have this on, and it's just going to be like there. So yeah. Why would we have this random pipe with this attachment on, halfway up a, uh, a, a wall between two bedrooms, when all the bathrooms are on the other side of the build? So I'm giving, a, I'm giving a hint there, so it's not for a bathroom. Okay, so who's going to say the answer? Well, the, view, the viewers. The viewers, okay. Let us know, guys, in the comments. No, bravo, bravo, Tom. bravo. Bravo, Anna, Tom, and Nancy, chef. So Anna, Anna just said the answer. She knew it straight away, didn't you, Anna? Well, I did eventually learn. You live and learn. Well, yeah, you've had to live with me for so long. Fifteen. Fifteen years married this year. Yeah, oh. How long together? That's uh, 17? Yeah. You remember it, Louis? You remember? You smell so much love here in this house in Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I saw photos of you guys uh, when you, maybe at your wedding, uh, Ed was, looked so much in love. Oh, my God. That was back in the day. <laughs> Pas au fond de trou, c'est bon Non, ouais, à peu près au milieu. Mètres, en fait, au milieu, ouais, c'est ça. Mais si ça touche, c'est pas très très grave. Oh, it's so much easier on this scaffold. Are you dancing? No, I got right. jelly legs now. Uh, it's uh, it is a lot easier on the scaffold though. You were right oh, I, I... for once. You were right, my love. Thank you so much for taking care of me. <laughs> he needs to finish the build, that's why, Louis. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. I'm sure it will be good. So we've been cracking on for a couple of days. Thought it'd be interesting to show you the advance after a couple of days, so you get to see a bit more of the stages. Of course, we put lots more of those um, fixing fixations on on the beams, and uh, and we've actually gone on a little bit further. But let's go have a look downstairs first, and then we'll go and see where me and Louis got up to. So down here. We've got two sets of lights for this room. Lots of spots. Anna likes lots of spots. I do love spots. So we've got a, a, um, a light switch here, and it's going to be a double light switch. A future light switch. Yeah. Light it's, switch, sorry. No. <laughs> and it's going to be, let me just get this right. Yes, it was this one. So it's going to be all of those lights on one switch, and these lights on another switch. So you've got like kitchen and then living and dining area. So lots of light, because when you're cooking... Yeah, but it's not just that, it, it, it'll give a, a nice atmosphere as well. Uh, you don't Definitely. have to have all the lights on. 
No, and then that's why you put the double switch. Yeah. Like, so you can have one on, one off. I've actually got my bottom into gear and I've ordered this uh, bifold door from the UK. Um, and why did you order it from the UK? Ed? Well, I ordered it from the UK because, uh, first of all, timing. Uh, in France, they don't have them in stock. Um, they're all made to measure. But in the UK, you've got them in stock. And with them being in stock, you get certain sizes that are a little bit cheaper. I think I've made a saving, but we'll have to see because I may have tax bill as it comes across. Well, it's on its way now. But as it comes across the uh, La Manche, as it comes across the uh, channel, um, you know, of course, um, there might be import duties. Okay. But, but we have advancement. Yeah. But the thing is, I've, I've bought one of those before off them and they're really good, uh, really good product. And at least I know that it's a good product and uh, we're good. Let's go up and see Louis. He's taking us yep, yeah, and here's Louis up here. Wait until I turn. Hi guys. Hello. So, yeah. as you can see, we've been working quite hard. A bit too hard, I see. <laughs> <laughs> we we have we've kept some to show you. So of course, last time you saw just of those fix fixations. I can't think what they'd be called in English. Are they Spinch. well, the sus suspend in French. But yeah, these kind of fixations were all on, and we were getting on with that. So all we've literally done since is clip some of the metal on, and then push the uh, the insulation in. So that's like the last pretty much four days. Yep. And uh, yeah, we've got a few left to show you how we do it um, because we like to show the full process. Before we go there, yes, we have questions. <laughs> Louis, what happened? Uh, a few guys uh, want to go in the passion project. Oh, Ten no. guys, very strong. So I take them out of the property, You're but they touch me. No, I play football and somebody give me a... That, that, that was what I told you to say. <laughs> well, had to give me a big punch because I'm too slow. Yeah. <laughs> now, you was playing football, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I played football the, this Sunday and, and, well, that's part of the job. Oh. No, but it's not part of the job. That's part of the, the playing. Yeah, yeah, well, but I take football. Playing. I have a big salary like Paris Saint-Germain, yeah. Man City guy, you know? <laughs> okay. Enough chat about Louis's poorly eye. <laughs> Look like a bad guy now. There's the tattoo. <laughs> Please don't hurt me, Louis. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get on. Let's get these last, well, at least one of these last one in before lunch. Let's go. Uh, we need a little extension. So basically, these clip the metal that's already up there to the metal we're going to clip up there because you, can only, you only really want to buy them in three meters, otherwise they're too hard to handle. And these make it so much easier. They're fairly expensive, but they make it so much easier to clip, clip the, uh, the two metals together. Okay. Which, let's see, we'll start on this one down here. And like I say, we'll show you that one and then we're gonna stop for lunch because a little bit hungry. Uh, Louis Ponton Echel, d'abord, s'il te plaît. Oui. Uh, Anna, come around here. So this is this slides in. It's like a like a double female connector, and it slides in here. Oh, okay. And then, oh, that's where you join the two. Well, yeah. normally the stop actually stops you, but I pushed it too much. There. So it kind of just about fits in before this. So we're really lucky. Um, if it didn't, we'd have to push it on along a bit. Louis, do you want another black eye? Get on with it. Come on. <laughs> you will have trouble with my with my mum. I can't go there. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Attends, that out the way for the time. Il faut couper, je pense. Ah, il faut couper? Ouais. Okay. 
là, on est maxi. Tu y arrives Non. Pousse-toi. Ouais, en fait, pousse, ouais. pousse c'est bon. Ok. Enfin, pas sûr qu'on coupe, du coup. C'est bon Ouais, ça va. Toi, t'es comment, là Mais il n'y a pas assez, en fait. Envoie. Vas-y, envoie. So, I put it in to the connector. I had to bend the suspense. So I'm bending it back. And of course, the metal's kind of being pushed down, but then you just clip it in. Oh, like that. Okay. Here's where we find out if Louis il manque un peu ici, du coup. put it in the right place. Là, il manque, uh, un centimètre. We need one centimeter left on the last one, but every centimeter counts, Louis. No, uh, let's just push it down from here, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it clipped in? No, wait. Yes. If you can push it back a little bit, I'd be happier. But no, Too no. Much. Keep it on your, is it on still? No. No. Clip it back on. Yeah. Is that on? There we go. We left half a centimeter yeah, that's over good. here. We're we good. Yeah. That's strong. That's good. So that's one on. Should we get another one on, Louis? Yeah. So the reason we left either every other one is so we could work the, the uh, isolation. isolation. Yeah, so yeah. we could get it in easier. Because you can put everything in quite hard. Yeah. It's looking really good. So long as it's not looking a pig's ear or a Louis eye. Oh. <laughs> Be careful to the karma. Yes, I know. I'll be falling off the ladder in a second. <laughs> Wait. Pousse à fond, première, et après tu reviens vers toi. Wait. C'est bon ou pas? Oui, c'est bon. Okay, do you need it that way a bit more? No, I'm fine. Okay. It's as easy as that. It's a good, good way of doing it. Huh? So on that note, let's knit back to the chateau and go through the numbers. Well, before I, we do that, I'm going to show everyone where we're at to here. Oh, have you not shown anyone? No. Okay. Before we have a look at the budget, I just wanted to remind you all that we have a antique and gourmet wine week coming up soon at Lagos at the start of May. If you're interested in that, where well, we'll be taking you out to, to have a look at the Cancons Antique Fair and possibly to a auction, then uh, please get in touch via the e email on Anna's website. Uh, let's go have a look at the budget. As promised, here's where we're up to with the budget. Um, changes since last time. Dunny, our roofer, has gone in at 12,300. I think that's exceptional value. 
We did help him a lot, so he did give us a reduction on that. It was due to be about 15, but... Um, and then underfloor heating's gone on at 1,346. That includes everything apart from the tile adhesive. Uh, bifold doors, we've now ordered the bifold doors. They're at the moment about somewhere between three and 4,000. I don't know what it's gonna be because I have import duties to pay on it. Um, the bits and bobs have just carried on ticking on and on and on and on. And we're up to 10,896, which is quite a lot, really. If you think about it, it's just things that we just go and buy, you know, just that we need. So, so far, excluding the two big ones are Louis and Cyril, maybe five to 10,000, and the bifold doors, maybe three or 4,000. So far, we're at 225,000 uh, total spend. I'm still hoping beyond hope that we can get it in under budget of 250,000. If we can, I think we've done a really, really good deal there. On that note, thank you all for watching. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and of course, pop a little comment in for us as well. Ring that bell because when you ring that bell, you know when our next vlogs are coming out. See you all next time. See you soon.